Hello everyone and welcome back to Robocraft. This is going to be a bit of a brief video because I'm going to be covering something a little special today. I know it's been a while, but uh, uh, with all the updates and everything, I've been struggling to get a series out and saying, oh, like, oh, here's how it is from the beginning because, you know, I started Robocraft when it was still being updated a lot. Um, one of these updates that's happened recently and, you know, uh, is kind of cool. And Robocraft love, well, Freejam love to do their little uh, special events. You know how it is. So I was given a code by a friend, friend being Jay, um, who was ever so kind. He doesn't play it terribly much, but he wanted me to make a video on it. So here we go. Um, basically, what it is is it is the American Megabot. Uh, if you don't know what that's on all about, America and Japan. Well, I think it was American. An American company made a uh, a big bot or tried to, wanted to, and challenged Japan to a duel because they are. Uh, they've already done something similar, so what they're going to do is they're going to make Mark IIs of their bots or whatever and take it to the table and fight, and whoever wins gets to win, I guess. Now, uh, as, as a British person, this seems a bit uh, odd, um, but it creates a kind of interesting event for Robocraft, and Jay, being American, obviously he would support his own country, uh, sent me a code for the American one, which, which is all very well and good, and, you know... Blue, white, red, you know, all the classical colours. But that matches another flag. And I'm definitely, definitely peeling the flag off this one. Although I have more flags elsewhere. Yeah. Let's edit this one. I'm going to peel the flags off my medic. Well, I say my medic. This is actually a build I made ages ago to effectively copy one of Avax designs. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually managed to uh, put it in a video. Can't remember. It's been some time. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm not taking this in with American flags. As pretty as they are. Red, white, and blue in a different variety. Always good. So, as you can see, Megabots Incorporated Mark II, which is, I think, what theirs would actually be called. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know, anybody who plays in Robocraft, as you can see here, there is uh, Mark... Uh, this is Mark VI armor, or Tier VI, if it's been a while for any of you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is the Tier V Overwolf armor, or Wolf armor. Um... So there's a bit of tier 5 armor on one side, tier 6 on the other. And you may think, oh, but there's white armor. Well, this thing's just going to get ripped to shreds in a, a 402,000 uh, ranking match. But no, these are actually specialized uh, cubes. I actually have tier 1 cubes, and these won't lay. And that's because they are, if we go up to this, oh, that one, they are rare armor cubes like these. So, uh, yeah, there's the rare, the rare Mark 5 ones. There they used to be the uh, wolf ones. Um, so this thing won't actually get torn up immediately. It's got Mark VI guns, Mark VI tracks. It's got plenty of them. <sighs> My only worry is it's a bit tall, so it'll probably fall over. But uh, I have actually taken it into the test test world, and it hasn't fallen over on its own. So uh, I'm going to do that again now, just to make sure. Because I'm curious how easy it is to accidentally tip it. And by accidentally, I mean, like, run over a slightly uneven surface at full speed. Now these are tank, tank treads, so I'm tempted to just leave thrusters off this entirely and not really modify the design further than the sheet, um, flags. It's been a while. Really has. Okay, so a bit of a bump there, and it's fine. And, oh, uh, we look at that. Oh no, it manages to recover nicely. Now that is a hefty slope right there. So, uh, oh, okay, so it is possible to get stuck, but due to the nature of how they've apply the physics, it's not too hard to get unstuck. Uh, it actually has enough speed to fling itself, which is kind of impressive. Now, it can't really go up a slope if it's too steep. Yeah, nothing straight up can't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and then I'm going to head down. I'm going to throw myself off properly. Okay, and off. Uh, okay, so once it's on the slope, it's actually fine. Wow, this thing really does actually come come together nicely. I'm quite impressed. Uh, it's also, its firing arc is quite good as well. I mean, at its worst, directly behind it, it blocks two of its own guns. But it's actually got pretty good firing range on pretty much everything it's got. Eh, it's only six guns, but they are Mark six guns. So if you maybe upgraded them all to Mark seven guns, this might be okay, but then you're over-tiering for its armor. Um, I mean, I can see weaknesses in, in the design, but I'm far from a professional. I'm, other people would probably be screaming at this, although maybe not. Maybe there's merits to this design that are actually quite good. 
Anyway, we should probably head into a battle, because I actually want to test this thing. Only 12 days of premium left. It's a good thing I got to this one I could. So, we should... That takes 35 million to go into Battle Arena or the Pit. What? 35 mil plus to go into Battle Arena. What, why? That's something to do with... Um, thinging. Why is it... Why am I only allowed Team Deathmatch? That's new! Okay, well, we're going to Team Deathmatch and see how this holds up against, um... Um... No respawning. That is odd. Maybe they changed it because, uh... They want people to actually play the old game mode and don't want to have to ditch it entirely. Maybe. Maybe it's so they can get people can get used to it. Because I guess sh when you're starting the game, a short iteration time where as soon as you die, you can just leave is probably good for newer players, but... I know this picture, but it looks like it's been updated. But it kind of doesn't. Cause, well, actually, no. No, it has, I think, because that's what the towers normally is. Yeah. Good luck and have fun. Two, one, and go. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, charging straight down the center isn't the best. I'd get killed immediately. Do we have any medics with us? Medics a thing at this point. Ooh, noises. Okay, yeah, there have been so many updates. My screen has a mark on it. That's bugging me because I'm. Rail flyer ah, screw it. Just fly in that direction. And. Oh wow, that's that guy's getting shot down like crazy. Okay, he's screwed. Uh Ooh, okay, I am in the way. Okay, so this thing doesn't have terribly many electric plates. Oh yep, that's me dead. Never mind. And now I can't respawn at all. That's a decent design. Not much to it once you burrow through him, though. So, yeah, he'd need heavy medicking. Oh, they're dead. Okay, our team is kind of on the rocks. Oh, dear. Okay, so obviously it doesn't hold up. It does not hold up. It does sustain fire at all. Yeah, this guy's screwed. Again, layering up the electro plates, though. Looks like they've changed how uh, the collision of some of them. Interesting. So there's been a lot of very cool updates in my pr in my absence. Huh, I'm pretty happy with this. Ah, I see. Trying to get his thrusters in such a way he can fly again. That's the problems with some designs. So we've got two people left. We've got this guy, and we've got this guy. And he's only got two legs, so all he can really do is just rail at people who come his way. And he's just going to go down. SMG fire. Come on. GG. <laughs> ah, ah yes, hang tab. So, I didn't do terribly well, but I didn't do badly so far. Here. To team. Yeah, there's only this guy left, and they're capping. Wonderful, it's been ages since people have capped. Wonderful, yeah. And now we get to see the true scores. So yeah, I I didn't do too badly considering. I mean, I did get an assist, which is is good. So I assisted in the one the enemy death. No, more than one of the enemies died. Yeah, two of them. One, two, no, one, two. There, two enemies died. I wonder which one I helped in. Yes. Maybe plasmas would work better. I probably have enough RP to equip this thing with plasmas. Become the British bombardier I always wanted to be. I mean, six is the right number, and as they get shot off, then my recharge rate goes faster. There are certain benefits and not to having plasma or not. Uh, more plasmas or not. Okay, that wasn't terribly much RP. Okay, let's edit this thing. 
Um, we want Mark VI plasmas. Uh, plasmas, Mark VI. How much will this change the ranking? I am curious. Okay, let's press M. Uh, the mirror button for me is still M, but for you it might be X or something else. Yes. Oh dear, I accidentally removed. Okay, no, there are actually eight guns on this thing. Okay. Right, so. Because these, uh, these are tier six treads, those are tier four treads. Those would probably be better. I do love that you can sideways mount these now. These would probably be better on the treads, because the treads have more armor, and thus these are less likely to get shot off. However, if these were to take a hit, the treads are more likely to go down. They have multiple joining points, so having this on the same joining point isn't a terribly good idea, but it has another one next to it. Also probably not great, so... but it interferes if I stick it either there or there. So... yeah, plasmas. Plasmas, plasmas, plasmas. I'm going to leave it like that. See how that goes. And uh, its current ranking has actually dropped. Okay. Well, there's only eight of them now. Maybe I could raise it up a bit. I should have enough RP to uh, rack up some Mark 7s. I remember the days when I was struggled to buy these plasmas, working my way up uh, through the ranks, trying to absolutely, you know, go crazy. Let's make the ones on the hands more powerful, because it just... Oh! Ooh. Okay. Definitely keeping them that level. <laughs> Alrighty then. Should have thought of that. Okay, let's get two more pl Mark 6. If I were to stick two more on, how would that affect the ranking? It would actually go over. Interesting. Maybe what I could do is stick one more there. It doesn't take it much over. And I can stick the radar back up. That's only a Mark 1 radar! Sir, I am disappointed. Mark 5 radar. I have a Mark 7 jammer as well. There's so many ways that this can immediately be improved. And I think the jammer could go there. Ooh, no. The jammer cannot go there. But the jammer can go there. That's a shame. It's a shame that I couldn't go there. That's like the perfect place for it. Although that looks pretty good as well, actually. It has a spinning booty. Okay, so that one will face up, receiving signal from the sky, hopefully. Uh, and there will be a jammer on its arse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's a little, little higher tier than it was. So if I pull that, now it's back to normal again. Okay, so six plasmas and an actual decent radar and jammer on it. I'm curious how that will help. Uh, again, let's go Team Deathmatch. See how we do. Okay! Something I went to check was the voiceovers. I didn't hear it at all. Maybe it only comes in battle, the battle arena. But good luck. And have fun. The battle for Tharsis Rift Whoop. has begun. Ah, God, that freaked me out a bit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the medic is shooting at me. Interesting that people are going that way. But I'm long range bomber, I've got to take a more tactical position. Just about spotted him. No. Ooh. No. Ooh, have they introduced like a slight... Yeah, I think they've introduced a slight a staggering on plasmas. So it's only slight. I need to back away, because the moment I... Ooh. Hi. Nope. Hmm. There is an, SM there is a, an SMG over there. Shouldn't really go on my own, man. Plasma bomber and more of a. Sp so, oh, okay, that's a rail art up there. Okay. I'm slow. A plasma bomber as being nimble does help, but I'm slow, so I can't really do much. No, I can't angle down enough. I had sideways mounted. 
should be good to go. Yes! Oh, pro skills. Okay. And self lift. Oh god, how have they built this to be self writing? Is it? It's because of the tank treads, isn't it? Tank treads sure are grippy. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Am I just hearing people people's death sounds like right behind me, even though they're not actually there? Well, we're winning. Mm -hmm. Two enemies left. Sounds like there's some of them are still over there. One of them, at least. Okay. Oh, any? Oh, um. Oh no, one of ours died. Oh no. Ah. Let's see if they come back, come a running. Nah, they're capping too. Uh, but they're gonna get shot to pieces. So, GG. Team, current points and whatnot. I'm gonna just sit here and cap. So yeah, um, being a bomber seems to be better. And British bombardier. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get terribly far, but my score was, eh, it's a middling score, but I didn't die, and that's the thing, and then again, I didn't exactly hit an onslaught of people, I didn't rush the centre. And then again, I'm not really in a position to rush things. Uh, that is an annoying thing, though. Okay, so, team-wise, uh, blah blah, damage, score is actually lower. So, how come someone got a higher score? Probably... Ah, death assists. Yes, yeah, the assists. Assists seem to give you more of a bonus. Right, let's let's leave. That noise is driving me crazy. <laughs> and thirty-one thousand for victory. Okay, so that's significantly better than the what was it, four thousand we got before. So yeah, pretty good. Um, so that's a it's a really really short test run. Uh, it seems to be good, and minor improvements do seem to do work wonders immediately. So. All in all, it seems like a really good bot, actually. I'm, I'm kind of impressed at its abilities. Um, thank you thank you again to Jay for sending me the bot, and also I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I will probably do some more playtesting when I have the time, and see if I can either improve it more or just better test out its abilities in its current format. But uh, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Have fun, and goodbye.